Hey, Nat here. Let's see what's making news. NASA's Artemis 1 rocket is finally lifting off tonight. It's NASA's first journey to the moon in more than 50 years and an important test for new space tech that experts hope could take humans far beyond the moon in the future. Here's Joe. Excitement is in the air at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida as NASA prepares for the launch of the long-awaited Artemis 1 mission tonight. Buckle up, everybody. We're going for a ride to the moon. This behemoth, called the Space Launch System, or SLS, is the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built, and is the first step in NASA's plan to get humans back to the moon, which hasn't happened since the Apollo 17 mission back in 1972. Artemis 1 won't actually be sending humans on its very first flight. Instead, it'll be crewed by three test dummies, Commander Munikin Campos, along with Helga and Zora. They'll be covered in sensors to test what it's like for humans inside the all-new Orion spacecraft. Their journey doesn't stop at the moon. They'll travel 64,000 k's beyond it on a 42-day journey. Uh, the most critical test on this flight is of the capsule's heat shield, actually. So the main, the main point of the flight doesn't happen until the last few minutes when we come plunging back into the Earth's atmosphere. Using what they learned from Artemis 1, NASA says its next mission, Artemis 2, will be sending humans to the moon in 2024. And eventually, they'll build a base there. That is all focused on taking that next great step about a thousand times further into space than the moon to the planet Mars. Pakistan is still struggling with heavy floods and there's more on the way in the country south. Heavy monsoon rains have caused lots of damage and washed away thousands of homes. Over the last two months, 30 million people have been affected and more than a thousand people have died. Pakistan's foreign minister has called on other countries to help. NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal has turned heads after meeting with PM Anthony Albanese. And here he is. He stopped by this press conference in Sydney on Saturday. Everyone knows Shaq loves Australia. And while he didn't say all that much, the Prime Minister says Shaq wants to lend his support for a referendum on the Indigenous voice to Parliament. Well, round one of the AFLW is over, and we might have already seen the game of the season. We've got that and more in sport. It's round one, Caps versus Tigers. Final quarter and Georgie Prasparkas has a free kick. Uh, but wait, give me the score. And the time remaining. And. Let's dial up the pressure. Sparkus steps up and buries it! After scoring the first goal of her career in the third quarter, Georgie Prasparkas slotted her second goal, with only seconds remaining to give Geelong the win over Richmond. Over to F1 and Max Verstappen has won another race, making it nine for the season. He started the race in 14th, but managed to cruise through the pack to win the Belgian Grand Prix. It wasn't great news for Lewis Hamilton or Aussie Daniel Ricciardo. Hamilton crashed out in the first lap of the race, while Ricciardo finished way back in 15th place. And they're off. This is the 2022 T-Rex Derby, held at Emerald Downs in the USA. Despite the prehistoric theme, the race only dates back to 2019. And this year, Logan Kluderskovsky took out the Jurassic jog. Roar! Ah, pumpkins. They're good for soup, roasting, cutting out little faces and putting candles in them. But what about as a boat? <laughs> well... Meet Dwayne, floating down the Missouri River in the US, aboard his giant 384 kilogram hollowed out pumpkin. And yes, he grew it himself. I thought, what a cool thing to do with a giant pumpkin. From 7.30 in the morning till 6.30 in the evening, Dwayne paddled 61 Ks in his trusty gourd in an attempt to obliterate the previous record of 41 Ks. And if somebody breaks this record, I will like bow down to them because they are tough. A humble man. I've never been in a pumpkin going down the river. I can't say it's easy. Watch out, Dwayne. I'm coming to squash your record. Get it? Squash. <laughs> Fine.